everyone and welcome back to another Jurassic World Alive video because it is a Thursday, which means that we have all new events to showcase for what's coming up this week. Um, also, um, what was it? Oh, what's that? That um, I can't remember the name now. The people who will play this game loads. Uh, you know what I mean. Not Apex Legends, no. <laughs> what am I? What are they again? Game Press, that's it. Game Press have got other stuff as well that they've uh, posted about what's coming up. So, we're going to take a look at all of those as well as unlock a new creature, which is probably already in the thumbnail. I think I'll probably put it there. So, before we go any further, let's have a look at what's coming up this week. And this week we have from Wednesday to Thursday, uh, you have Mirigaya, um, the Saw, this one, the, what is this one? The Sinsoropterus, Stegosaur and Nundasuchus. Out of all those, I guess, Sordopterus or whatever it is, that one. Um, and then Friday to Sunday, um, you, well, actually, Friday to Saturday, there's no legendaries. There's no uniques this weekend. It is all just legendaries. Uh, Friday to Saturday gives you two days worth of darting nine attempts of either Dodo, Rajasaur, or the um, the turtle, the Carbon Emis. Uh, tortoise, I should say. Um, out of all of those, yeah, it's up to you which one you want to go for. I think all of them have pretty decent hybrids, except for Dodo, maybe. Uh, the Raj has loads. And the tur Tortoise also has loads. Uh, and also on the Friday, to mention, is a legendary incubator, or an epic in incubator, I should say. So, yes, definitely play on Friday. Uh, and then Sunday, which was, I think last week just gone, was a legendary. This time, however, it is a Diplodocus, or yeah, it's a Diplodocus? I, it's, I've just completely blanked on that name. I think it is Diplodocus. Uh, di di I think Diplodocus, <laughs> Diplodocus, Titanoboa, and drumroll, Bumpy. That's the one you should be going for. Yes, Sunday, you've got nine attempts at darting Bumpy. Just dart Bumpy. Because we I need Bumpy in order to make the new uh, Apex, and it thinks 200 a pop. So nine attempts, Bumpy out of all of those is the easiest to dart as well. Something to bear in mind uh, when darting certain dinosaurs when you have a choice is that uh, Titanoboa is a snake. You're probably going to be lucky to get 220, if we're going to be honest, because the way that thing moves, it's so annoying. And Diplodocus as well has a head dart and a tail dart. So you're going from one end of the body to the back end. Whereas Bumpy is an Ankylosaur, which is like a little tank. And it's not really that big. So you can just be easy to get some good darts on that. So actually, that's perfect. You have a chance to dart Bumpy, and Bumpy is the best choice. If it wasn't a good enough week enough, the following week from that, Monday to Tuesday, it is uh, Tijongasaurus, eh, Argentavis, eh. But then you also have an attempt for uh, the, the bear and the deer hybrid as well. Or, you know, the, not the, well, the res to make the, uh, the hybrid. So out of this week, you have good opportunities to make some good strides towards the apexes that you can fuse. Um, so, with that out of the way, how about we look at Game Press? Now, Game Press have, they've said that there is skins coming to the game, or at least there was some sort of way that it's like, oh, you haven't acquired that skin. So, possibly, we are able to customize our dinosaurs, which is actually pretty decent. Uh, that's pretty neat. Uh, also, Brachiosaur is thundering, as they say, into raids, as well as a... What, what what was the other one? I can't even remember what the other one was. In Impratosuchus, death rolls into uh, ra raids in March. On March 16th, apparently. So yeah, we've got some interesting things coming up. So before, well, we do any battles. Hold on, let me just, you know, do do the rounds. And normally I would do the, you know, the, the advert to get double, but you but we'll not do it, not now. No, 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 no. Uh, so do we have anything interesting? Uh, ooh, a copy for money? Yes, please! <laughs> I wish, I wish Compi was good. I do. I wish with all my heart that I could use Compi properly. But I, I can't really. It's only so good. Um, so, let's have a look. Right, what was the new hybrid that I was gonna make? I think it was the snake, because I... The sneaky snake. And I kind of want to add it onto my team. However, I will definitely not have the DNA in order to make a level 22. Because I think when you make a unique, it's only level 21. So I have 200, just enough. This teased me in the last video. And oh, of course, it's it's ju just just the right amount to make it. So Trodon is one of those creatures that's super hard to get. But let's have a look. Here we go, Trude Boa. Oh, yes. Oh, wow, that, kind of, that looks really cool, actually. He's got a little mohi. He's like, what? You what? Right, well, yeah, we're definitely not fusing it. So, shielding alert, strike, group, cleansing, fatal, strike, precise, destructing, impact, group, cunning, rampage, uh, a shield in swap, 
when opponent swaps out, 100% uh, shield for two attacks and increased damage by 50%, pretty decent, and a raking counter, meaning that it does, uh, is that a regular hit? Yeah, it goes through uh, shield, or sorry, armor, and it does 240 damage, not bad. Or at least for whatever level it is, whatever attack. So, not 100% resistance against stun. I guess that's not so bad. Taunt, who cares? Uh, <laughs> honestly, unless it's raids. Uh, reducing damage, and even then, who really cares? Uh, reducing damage, uh, damage over time, and speed decrease is the only one. So, it does not get its attack reduced. It does not bleed. Uh, it's alright. Mm, yeah, I mean, it doesn't stop anything from swapping, but if they do, it gets a shield. But normally when th something swaps in, it either breaks shield, like the Phosphorus or whatever it is, or it just increases its own stats, like Scorpius Rex Gen 3. And because it's not- ooh, even more of that. Because it's not 100% resistant to stun, there's a chance that when a Monola Rhino or an Acera Magnus swaps in to it, that uh, it's 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 gonna take some big hit. Uh, one thing I did actually want to check, because I didn't even- spent two seconds looking at it, its regular stats, was its speed. 117, that's not so bad. 117 speed's pretty decent. Um, it has a 10% crit chance and no armor. I don't know if that's really good. Oh, stop telling me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look at these events that we've got going. Uh, if, oh God, if we compare it not to the faux, faux, faux Rex, Compare it to the Constrictor, um, also has no percent armor, but does have ten, also have 10% crit chance. Has a, a even faster actually, 126. Wow, I did not realize it was that fast. Maybe I should really increase that. I've got loads of attack if I wanted to increase this. So we pretty much got this almost to level 20, tier tier 20 for health. Um, my, my thinking is that, you know, we'll just absorb a lot of hits and stuff like that. Uh, yes, I know, good god! Right, okay, so, how about we do some battles and see if we can maybe get up into the Gyrosphere League? Because we've just had a whole leaderboard restart, um, so, let's give it a shot. Yes, so I think it was Tiger Plays that, um, was the one who was like, Oh, you should probably switch, you know, the Mortar Rex out for Boa Constrictor. <laughs> but I think that was actually a really good decision anyway. Um, also I think in my last battle, I won, the, I won the second battle at the end there. Um, and someone was like, actually it's a good job you, di you didn't swap out because Forex's swapping counter actually does less damage. And I didn't realize that, uh, when it's below 50% health. Oh, oh, this is actually not that bad. I was thinking, ooh, what could I put in? But a magnetator at what speed? 100, 162 speed! Oh! Oh, if it got a crit, oh! Is it immune to, oh, of course it's immune to that. Well, at least we're gonna do a lot of damage. I think it's probably gonna go for double, double damage here. Um, so what we'll do is we'll heal ourselves and then we kill it with a counter. Oh! Oh! I don't know if that's enough unless it gets a crit. Oh ho ho ho! Oh, interesting. Oh, he did swap prevent me. Okay, so we got that. Now, I think he's probably going to kill me in one hit now anyway. Probably should have went for an attack. That was a good play on him. Uh, so, it needs to do 2,000 and a lot. Oh, God. It might die unless it gets a crit. This is really interesting. Um, should I... Ooh. Ooh, I don't know here. Should I slow it down just in case he goes for the sidestep? Uh, what? You know what? I thought maybe if he goes for the sidestep... At least then he's guaranteed the kill next turn. But then I just want to slow him down, I suppose. Oh, but then he would have got priority anyway. Oh, I'm an idiot. Should have just went for Rampage. <laughs> Kills him anyway, luckily. Okay, so this isn't so bad. Oh, I'm feeling good about this. Yes, yes, yes. I like this. This is good, yes. Uh, I am recording this, aren't I? Yes, oh, good. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, Sarah Magnus. Um, who? Now, actually, Sarah Magnus uh, would be good against Endatori. You know, should we just, should we fodder off Hadrosaur Lux? I'm kind of tempted, but then again, if I fodder off Hadrosaur Lux, then I get the, like the, you know, the revenge cloak, but then again, Sarah Magnus can just remove my cloak. So this is probably the best situation. Sarah Magnus is terrible against the, uh, the, the deer. So I've actually heard through the grapevine that the deer is actually going to be getting somewhat of a buff. And I wonder why, actually. Um, it already got a big nerf with its health regen. Uh, it used to be dependent on its attack. I think they're redoing that, I think. 
something about it's like the max that oh i think there might be a move that now is being implemented which is quite good it's like a leech life move so basically however much damage you do to the opponent is how much you gain um i think that's a really good idea i don't know why they haven't done something like that before you know something like a snake that bites and then shucks the hell you know that like that, that could work i don't know they already did a bat dinosaur that would be cool give me something that bars and flutters around like a zoo bat right so yeah um I, I don't know he's got what was this other creature that he put in first it's almost dead uh the magnetator that's right he decided to save his magnetator um so this point into oh and a crit oh oh you hate to see it um so have i got anything that can really take on um i'm I, you know i'm really tempted just to uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to kill it. Oh, it's... Oh. I think he's giving up. Don't know about you, but I get the feeling this guy's thrown the thrown in the towel. Oh, yes. He's very much thrown in the towel. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah. Um, I see a lot of this guy. I see a lot of... What is it? The sp Ehrlich Spix? I see a lot of it. Um, and he's... Oh, he doesn't even go for instant destruction. He, he, yeah, he's pretty much given up. His Ceraminus is almost dead. His Magnetator is almost dead. Did he forget that I was, you know, gonna get a heal when he swaps out? Possibly. Possibly. And we'll just go for regular hit. Oh, he even tries to reduce my hit. If I was him, I just went for regular hit. Just to show that, like, yeah, I've given up. <laughs> oh, wow. You, you know what? The deer... When it works, it works really well. And I do like it when it works. Oh, we like it when things work out. So that was a 3-0 victory. I'm so sorry. Um, Her Herborage. 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 Whatever your name is. I, I apologize. I did not mean to 3-0 you. It's never a good feeling. Because then you know that or maybe they were just playing to get the... The, the cups towards the incubator and you're like, oh, no. <laughs> well, anyway, should we do another one and see how well we do? Hey, well, maybe we're on a hot streak. Right. You know what it is? I used two creatures <laughs> that whole game. Uh, I didn't even get to use my spider when I had it. Okay, this one's a bit more risky because Monorhino's not got great health. Forferox is really risky and the spider Constrictor, I'm not confident with it. Um... So out of all of these, I, I think I kind of want to get rid of Spino Constrictor first so my Utaranex can sw swap out to either the bird or the rhino. So I'm actually going to put in the... Uh, I'm actually going to put in Spino Constrictor first here. Not a great opener, uh, but against Trico, yes, it is. Um, so what... Ah, e, ooh, e, ah, ooh. <laughs> well, we could go... Oh, he gets to go first, actually. Wow. This is really freaking good. So we could do that. Do damage of tank. We do an evasive and get a crit on it. A trico. Yeah. Is trico good? I don't I don't even know if trico is any good anymore. But that is a lot of damage. Yep, that's a lot of damage. So now he's left with either going for invincibility uh, or, you know, just bleeding out. I, you know what it is? I'm kind of tempted just to let him bleed out here. Um, I'll go for instant destruction. He Oh, he goes for a swap. Oh, he might be dead. Ooh, but he does get a counter if he survives. Oh, well played. Well played actually does get a counter. Now, I've seen that played before with a couple of dinosaurs. You know, I think that's, you know, really good on him to do that. Um, actually, wicked. Uh, I think I'm immune to stun. No, I'm not. <laughs> well, it's immune to bleed, so well played. Um, so we get to do this too. Uh, he does resist it somewhat. So, I mean, if I was him, I would just go for the... What would I do? I'd go for the shield, actually. Uh, but you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yes, yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go for some damage. You know, try and do some damage. Um, again, really don't want to... Uh, I, it's not worth losing at this point. I might as well just try and keep it just so I don't lose uh, a dinosaur here. I don't want to give him a point. Uh, I'd rather just keep that. Especially when these two are just facing up against each other. And I'm quicker. Um, oh, that's an interesting one he went for. Oh, okay, okay. So, I could go for his damage reduction here. Uh, or I could go for a shield. Uh, I'm going to go for shield. Because I will resist more damage coming into it. Uh, or more damage he's going to deal to me. And he goes for his... Oh, nah, that was silly. That was silly. He should have reduced my damage. So I could do less damage here. And then, if he'd done that, I wouldn't have killed him this turn. 
Um, it was like, if he swaps out, he survived. If he doesn't swap out, he's dead. I think it's, it's, oh, he's dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. If he'd went for just a regular hit, he wouldn't have died then. Uh, so I think, oh my god, what is with these Oh, 168! Jesus! Okay, uh, I mean, I may as well go for this, because he's, oh, he goes, goes for nullifying. Wait, what's the damage on this thing? Okay, it's not the greatest. Right, so we got resistant here. That's fine. Um, now, what's... Ooh, actually a fair bit of damage. So do I want to just fodder off? You know what it is. I'm going to fodder off Spino Constrictor. Because out of what I've seen so far, Spino Constrictor does the least amount of damage and stuff. Um, oh, and he went for a small one. Interesting. Okay, okay. Right, so let's let's give him an ultimatum here. Either he loses his super fast magnetator, or it takes damage and something else takes a lot of damage. Let's see what he does. Ooh, I mean, this is the problem when you've got a fast... Oh, oh, it, he's immune to it. This is good, because now we do damage to it, and then whatever comes in is going to take a lot of damage. Uh, it's a Trico. Okay, fair enough. I forgot about his Trico. Damn, damn. Good news is that I can swap out to my model Rhino if he swaps back into his Magnetator. Oh, it's a, it's a deal. Well, this is actually really good because we can swap out to model Rhino here. Um, and we've still got that, uh, that four Fokkerons in here. And hopefully we get a stun here. Ah, it's a, it's really a, that is such a shame. Oh, no. Um... Right, so actually, you know what? This could be worse. It could be worse. It could be a lot worse. Because now, he's stuck between this Dio and a really underpowered uh, Magnetator. Uh, so, is he going to go for Invincibility? Oh, group! I would have went for Invincibility just to make sure I take no damage here. Wow. Okay, okay. So, yeah, you do, you do damage back. Fair enough. But now... I'm gonna stun you. Um, and oh, oh, we get a crit, but do we get the stun? Is it gonna pass it a second time? It doesn't! Alright, okay. So what's, what's the worst case scenario here? Um, he goes for instant invincibility. I swap in Forex and then he's done. Or oh, I go for the, this, and then he counters me and then does a big I'm gonna do this. Predicting his instant invincibility. And he does go for the instant invincibility. That's fine. Is it for two attacks? It is for two attacks. That's alright. That's all right. So he does the counter here, which is completely fine. Then I swap in my, uh, this guy who doesn't actually break the shield. So again, another counter off on me. However, he cannot swap out now. And he's using his, <laughs> his in instant invincibility. And I'm thinking that that is game because it does not have 50% armor. And boom, well played. Oh, oh, that was good. I like that one. I felt good that one. I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> Rewards. Woo well, guys, we're going to have to keep it short and sweet because I've got stuff to do today. Um, but, and I actually, I did not mean to just, and I have not edited it, so I've cut any battles out, as you can see. If I lose, I lose. It's fine. I don't care. <laughs> but it just, we, we got very lucky. Maybe it's because we're low down. But still think that was quite challenging. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, we will come back into the game, of course, when the new update comes out. I feel like it's coming up soon. Uh, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what balances happen, what things get buffed and nerfed. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.